Hey folks, so I am going to walk you through how to do um, the exercise on Entree basic sketching. So uh, I have here my uh, workspace um, and I've just gone ahead, I've made a new part studio and folder called basic sketching. So I am going to get going. Um, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to hide the right plane because we don't need it and I'm going to hide the front plane. We're mainly going to be working on the top plane because we're just doing a 2D sketch. And I'm going to go up here and hit sketch. I could also hit shift S and it asked me to select my work plane. So now I have a sketch started on my top plane. Uh, now what I'm going to do next, I am going to uh, create two circles. Uh, I'm just going to start them on the origin point just to make my life a little easier later on. And then just as it asks you, I'm also going to draw a few lines. So I'll uh, make a line here and bring it out a certain distance, make a line down, over, down, back. That's a little diagonal, but that's fine. And then finally back to my circle. Um, so I'm going to hit enter on that. Uh, I don't really need that dimension, so we can delete it. Um, and you'll tell that it's a little bit off. That's fine. Um, we're going to play around with um, some constraints and such in a moment to make it all nice and trued up. Um, the second step we need to do is make a construction line. So I can grab my line tool and construction tool or hit Q and I can now make a line across. Now I think it wants me to take it to the midpoint right here. So I'm going to take it to the midpoint. I'm going to hit enter and escape. I also don't need that. So the next step in our uh, tutorial here is to work with some constraints. Now remember, um, constraints are going to be up here. Sometimes they're going to drop down menu. Um, so you might have to hit, click a little carrot to go down. Um, what Onshape wants us to do in this tutorial for step three is to set these three lines equal to each other. So in order to do that, we can grab our equals tool or E, and then I can set this equal to this, and then can hit E again and set this equal to this. Now, once we have that, these are all squared up. These three are all equal and it's looking a little bit better. Um, so if we move on to step four, we are now supposed to start putting in some dimensions. Now I'm gonna hit escape because I had equal selected still. Now I don't have any tool selected and we want to create a dimension. So I can either click D or click on our dimension tool up here so I'm just gonna hit D and I need to make a dimension from here to here. So I have the dimension tool on, now I can click on this point and click on this point and bring it on down and now I have a dimension. Now, one thing I didn't tell you earlier that might be important now, if this is in inches, you can go up here, go to workspace units, switch your units to millimeters. Um, but for now, let's go back into the sketch, hop back in there. This dimension in step four is supposed to be 200 millimeters. Now we're a little bit bigger now. I'm just going to hit top to zoom out. And I'll zoom out a little bit more and drag this down. Hit top again to kind of center ourselves. And I'll zoom out a little bit too. And then on to step five. Now step five, we have to add a few more dimensions. Um, so I'm going to click D on my keyboard. And the first dimension is the distance between this ring and this ring. Now. Um, According to on shape the tutorial it should be 35 millimeters that's a grand and then uh, this distance from here to here or just this line so I can hit D and just get a dimension on this line should be 70 finally I need a dimension one of these three lines I'm just gonna do up here hit D make a dimension there this needs to be 50 so things have kind of squared up a little bit, it looks like. It looks like we might still have a diagonal somewhere. Um, I can't exactly tell, but uh, we'll, we'll head on to the next step, and if stuff's still acting kind of funky, we'll, we'll play around with it a little bit. Um, so our next step is we need to add a circle up here and a circle right here. I'm gonna just drag up this dimension, and it does look like I still have um, something a little bit wonky going on between these two. So if I choose symmetric, I should be able to make this symmetric to this 
and it looks like we're still at an angle. How rude. So I'm just gonna make these horizontal. Horizontal, horizontal, boom. Okay, now we're true. Um, now that we are all trued up, we gotta add those two circles. So let's add them. And what I'm going to do is grab my circle tool and I'm just gonna plop a circle here and we're gonna dimension it. So it needs to be the distance from this line to this center point of the circle needs to be 35. The actual diameter of this circle needs to be 25. So we're gonna make that 25, just hitting D again. And then the distance from this point to this point needs to be on the midpoint, so let's just make it 25. They actually show you how to do it a different way in the tutorial, and I'll do that down here. Basically, they make a construction line. So we got a line, where's construction? Where did I put construction? There it is, construction line. They go from the midpoint, and I can actually just grab this point here, and they just make it so that they have a circle on a construction line that is approximately 35 millimeters out. So um, you can do that if you want to. You can do the construction line. Uh, and actually, it's 25 millimeters here. Um, you can do the construction line, or you can just dimension it out. It's the same. You get the same answer the same way. Um, and you'll notice that as you move forward into uh, your experience with Honshape. So um, now that I have all of these, um, we, I'm just checking on slide seven, slide eight, we move on to actually trying to um, calculate the surface area. I'm not gonna do that, um, but uh, things you wanna check for. Um, one, make sure all your dimensions are correct when you look at it um, in comparison to the actual um, goal here. So our goal is to look something like this, right? Um, and if you do have the wrong um, square uh, millimeters, the wrong area for this highlighted area when you click that. Um, one big thing that you can check is, hey, like, do I have horizontal, perfect horizontal and perfect uh, vertical lines? Is something a little bit askew? Also, just remember if um, this area in here isn't shaded, that means you are missing a connection between two primitive shapes. So maybe your line isn't actually touching the circle. Um, so that is how to start basic sketching. Once you're done with it, you can just leave it in uh, basic sketching. You can start a new part studio and we can move on to intermediate. Um, so I will see you there in a moment.